Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have the product of two trigonometric functions. In this case, it's the sine of angle times the sine of a different angle. And that's what makes it a little bit more tricky. It actually isn't that difficult to solve for this, except you have to know the trick. And the trick is as follows. You have to recognize that there's a sine of one angle times the sine of another angle. And where have we seen that before? Now you realize, oh, that is part of the identity when we have the cosine of the sum of two angles. For example, when we have the cosine of a plus b, well, that will become equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of a times the sine of b. And there we have it, the sine of a times the sine of b, which is what we're looking for. So somehow we have to be able to isolate that. We can do that by, go ahead and do this instead. We write the cosine of a minus b, and so this would be equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b plus the sine of a times the sine of b. Now when we add those two together, then of course the sine a sine b term disappears, and that's what we don't want. We want to maintain that. So that means if we subtract those two equations, that means we will keep the sine a sine b, and those two terms will disappear, the cosine a cosine b, the, the two terms in both equations. So let's do that. So here we end up with the cosine of a plus b minus the cosine of a minus b, and that equals this plus this, which is zero, and this or I should say this minus this is zero, and then this minus this gives us minus two times the sine of A times the sine of B. So now we're going to divide both sides by negative two. That means the negative twos cancel out there. On the left side, we end up in the negative. We can get rid of the negative by switching those two terms around, so we end up with one half times We'll write this one first as positive, the cosine of a minus b. And that this becomes minus the cosine of a plus b. And that equals then what's left here, which is a sine a sine b. Of course, you want to turn that around. And so we can finally say that the sine of a times the sine of b, therefore, is equal to 1 half times the cosine of a minus b minus the cosine of a plus b. And that is a very handy identity that is used quite often uh, in the sciences, so it's good to know where that came from and how to derive the product of the two signs, signs of a and signs of b. And that is how it's done.